A little robot that could. SCP-2785 sat in his room. It was a small room, and there was not much to do. But SCP-2785 didn't mind. He knew that if he just sat in, in his room, eventually, he'd be let out again. He'd get to transform again. And he'll get to be with his friends again. Just the thought made him happier than the happiest clam on Earth. But something was not right here. Normally, SCP-2785 could hear his friends talking outside. What they talked about, SCP-2785 could only guess. Maybe they were talking about letting SCP-2785 out. Maybe they were talking about cats and dogs. However, 2785 then hear his friends talking. He heard them screaming instead. SCP-2785 had confusion when it came to screaming. Some of his friends told him that it meant that they were scared. 2785 didn't understand scared. After all, if you were nice enough, why would anyone hurt you? Some of them also told him that it meant that they were having so much fun. They were exhilarated. 2785 also had confusion for that. How could she be having so much fun? You were scared of it. SCP-2785 had heard of roller coasters. Cars attached to trains, tracks, that zipped you around so fast you become exhilarated. Does that mean, mean that his friends built a roller coaster? Were they going to show it to him as a surprise? 2785 simply could not wait to get out. However, 2785 did have to wait. So he waited. He waited. And listened to the screaming. SCP-2785 was sitting in his room, imagining what he would do if he got out. When all of a sudden, it became dark. Normally, SCP-2785 would not have been able to see in the dark. He would have been as blind as a schoolgirl who has gone blind. But a few Transformers came back. He had acquired the ability to see in the dark. So he saw in the dark. And he saw something strange. There was a door to it in his room. A door that stayed shut no matter what. And today, the door had opened. If, if 2785 could have, he would have passed out from exhilaration. SCB-2785 walked out, and he saw, saw that it was a mess. Tables were flipped over, objects that were formerly resting upon them scattered across the ground. Fluids of almost every type covered the walls and floor. Lights were smashed, and doors were detached from their hinges. And paintings had, that had given... 2785 curiosity in the past were defaced to the point where they were no longer gave him curiosity. SCP-2785 almost passed out from non-acceleration. And where were all of 2785's friends? Were they on vacation? Sometimes when his friends were gone, his other friends said that they had gone, they had took a vacation. And soon enough, they came back. Maybe all of them had taken a vacation. SCP-2785 got an idea. The place was a mess and all of his friends were on vacation. What if he cleaned up the place and made it spick and span? When his friends came back, they'd be so happy. They'd make the happiest man alive look sad. But first, SCP-2785 had one thing to take care of. After his transformation, during which he had acquired better seeing the, eye, better seeing the dark and better tools for his hand, 2785 decided to listen to the air. He found that inside his room, he couldn't listen to air, even if he wanted to. 
2785 began to read, and he saw that saw those that were melting. That was strange. They are having their transformations too. That would explain why they were on vacation. SB2785 found a stash of books that looked useful. If only he could read. Of course, SB2785 could read in his native language, but in English, he only learned a handful of words. He, he was almost as illiterate as somebody who could not read. That just won't do. Wouldn't do. He had to learn a little, maybe a lot. He picked up the first book and got started. SCP-2785 decided to start with the main foyer. He had found a mop and a somewhat clean bucket of water to clean up the goop on the floor. He had found some perfectly good glass panes to replace the broken windows. In addition to grabbing some old furniture from the storage closet, SCP-2785 had read through Carpentry 101 and mostly understood how it worked. As SCP-2785 started mopping, he thought how about what he would do when, when his friends got back. Maybe he would have a party. A party would be nice. SCP-2785 had been allowed to attend only a couple of staff parties. They had good people, good talk, and amazing decoration. His friends would love it if he set up a party all by himself. The thought excited SCP-2785, but he couldn't have a party with goop all over the floor. So he mopped, and mopped, and mopped, and mopped a little more. One of the hallways, a couple hallways over from his old room, had part of a ceiling that had completely caved in. A massive pile of dirt took up the room, with bits of steel, rebar, and stone mixed in. The pile was soaked from broken pipes above it, which had since gone dry. It would take a long time to remove this pile. All SV-2785 had was a shovel and a place to put it. Research Carolyn's dormitory on 5th floor. SV-2785 figured that she wouldn't mind. 2785 shoveled up a small pile and began carrying it. After all, he had nothing better to do. SCP-2785 was replacing a light bulb near a second floor window break room when a thought came to him like a bullet out of a gun. Friends have been on vacation for a long time now. How long has it been? Uh, how long has it since he had been let out of his room? 2785 had him been keeping track. A week? A month? Couldn't have been that long. He made some fro progress on the first three floors. But he wouldn't even show a pig anything above that. He didn't even have the lights working. SCP-2794 put a thought away in his mind. To be a thought for later. For now, there's work to be done. Should any portion of the AO3 generator become dysfunctional due to overuse, it is simple to repair provided the essential replacement parts. First, make sure the generator is powered off. SCP-2785 put the manual down for a second. He examined the generator until he found the switch labeled on slash off. He found the switch pointed towards the on side. 2785 put the Oh, put the switch onto the off position before going to the, returning to the manual. Next, open the panel labeled Maintenance and look inside of the generator. Visually identify any components that are damaged. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove these components, then replace it with functional components. After opening up the panel, SCP-2785 visually identified several wires that had burned out, as well as one of the motors. SCP-2785 had a screwdriver attached to his hand, 
So he removed all those components and quickly replaced them with ones he had found in the storage room. Once everything looked intact, he closed the panel and switched the generator on. After a few seconds of delay, the lights above flickered, then came on. As SCP-2785 turned off, you see an eye dark here. Many other lights and buildings flicker, then come on. He also heard beeping. Did he forget to unplug a few things? Darn. How long has it been? SCP-2785 had to remember since... He wasn't really keeping track. He usually counted by the number of transformations he had gone by. He counted. One, two, three, twenty-four. That was quite a few. But how much time has it was it in between each transformation? SCP-2785 remembered that he had used to have a year in between each transformation. But he had been transforming an awful lot lately. lately. Maybe there was a week between. 2785 decided to go with that answer in order to keep his sanity. I'm not alone, am I? The thoughts kept racing inside of SCP-2785's head. Of course he wasn't alone, but he hasn't seen any people lately. He hadn't even seen as much as a mouse, or even a housefly. But he wasn't alone. 2785. Remember learning about bacteria, microscopic little buggers. They were everywhere. He couldn't see them. But they were there. They were there. He kept that thought in his head. You're alone. The thought came out of the dark. Like a bat coming out of the shadow. Thought even made SCP-2785 drop the table leg he was carrying and sit it down on the green tilted couch on the break room. His friends were coming, were going to be back from their vacation soon, right? They've been gone for so long though. What if, just what if, they weren't coming back? Well, he had the bacteria, right? But could he talk to the bacteria? Could he have a friendly conversation with bacteria? Could he even be friends with bacteria? SCP-2785 sat down. He thought he'd never be alone. But here he was. Alone. 2785 picked up the table leg. And started to attach it to the couch.